From this moment on, and for all time, people will be calling the 20th century space. It was April 12th, the 1961st year. A ship with a citizen of Suryuri Gagarin has entered an unknown space signature. At that time, the voice of the Soviet country in winning space exploration was heard throughout the world. We are happy to put all peoples in the surface of progress, happiness and good. All the people on Earth. Today, space has entered into the lives of millions of people, and it has become a tangible reality of all of Earth's civilization. This is the Vice President of the Academy of Sciences of the USSR, President of the Council of Interspace, and Academic Vladimir of the Soviet Union, who has opened the way for people to enter outer space and from the outset has initiated international cooperation in the exploration and peaceful use of outer space. The global nature of the challenge is here. A great deal of effort is needed for space exploration. From the outset, it has been shown that these studies are not rational about the national program, but about the whole community. An outstanding example of international cooperation is the Interspace program, which is being fought. In addition to the Soviet Union, a number of socialist countries are involved. The results obtained under this program are also available to the peoples of other countries. We believe that, in the future, space will be used only for peaceful purposes and that it is the duty of all scientists to contribute to it. Shortly after the establishment of the Interspace Council, the first international research satellite, Interspace 1, designed to study solar Earth communications, was launched into orbit. Scientific equipment was given to him in the Soviet Union's GDR and in Czechoslovak. The sun. Everything on this planet is from him. Both human health and weather, and even processes in the Earth's crust and ocean, depend on the disasters on its surface. The chairman of the Space Research Committee of the Polish Academy of Sciences, Professor Jadro Glubski, described international cooperation in solar system research. Poland is Copernicus. And we can't do space. But the only space opportunities we can create are interspace programs. We started modestly. We started with the observation of artificial Earth satellites. The first major project in which we participated was the flight of Copernicus 500 to mark the anniversary of our great compatriot. The programs before this satellite were very tense and very complex. The data on the solar radio radiation that was obtained from this flight were unique. And the amount of information we received was such that we were dealing with it for several years. As part of our program, I think we are building a system that is truly brotherly, which is sort of a model of the relationship that we have. It's coming and it's necessary to sing from humanity. In the year in which the 1300th anniversary of Bulgarian statehood was celebrated, the Interspace Bulgaria satellite, the 1300, was created as part of the cooperation program. This automatic station has a research complex developed by Bulgarian scientists with the participation of Soviet specialists. The satellite is designed to investigate the physical processes in the ionosphere and magnetosphere of the Earth, 
a period of intense solar activity. Another example of successful international cooperation has been the research carried out by scientists from different countries in Soviet biology. Plant cells and laboratory animals. They study the features of adaptation to weightlessness and test the effectiveness of various means of protection against hypodynamia and the destructive effects of space radiation. Such research helps to meet the practical challenges of space medicine. Not only from the surface of the sun, but also from distant galaxies, invisible space particles enter the Earth's atmosphere. To observe such particles in the Soviet Union, Tian Shana mountains have been built. A new series of experiments is under preparation. Sensitivity instruments need to record high-energy space particle collisions with Earth Yapa's S atom kernels. They will bring the scientists new knowledge of the building of matter in processes that are taking place in the best universe. You've had many years of research on Tian Shan along with Soviet scientists, by Bulgarian scientists. With the development of space technology, it was the first time that research could be carried out, physicians and astronomers directly into interplanetary space. You are a Soviet space station designed to explore the near-Earth space of the Moon and other celestial bodies of the solar system. And you are equipped with instruments developed by the scientists of the Interspace program as well as France, Sweden, Austria, ENDI. A large number of joint experiments have been carried out on these machines. At first, the millenniums came to our attention about a mysterious comet that occasionally appears on the Earth's slope. She was last seen in 1,910 years. Aha is named after Halley, the English astronomer who considered her trajectory. A new meeting with Halley's comet is expected in the 1,986th year. Scientists from many countries are looking forward to this event. In Hungary, special instruments have been developed to determine the physical properties of the comet's substance. They'll be installed at a space station that will be sent towards a mysterious space body. The station is being prepared in Moscow at the Space Research Institute of the Academy of Sciences. Together with specialists from the Soviet Union of Bulgaria, Hungary, or Poland, and Czechoslovak equipment for the station. It was developed by scientists in France, Austria, and Serbia. The point today is inextricably linked to the weather. As we know, the weather knows no national boundaries. 
An orbital book covering the vast areas of the mainland and the oceans makes it possible to learn in time about the emerging hurricanes and the impending cyclones. Meteor satellite collects more information in one turn than 15 zero conventional weather stations. The Soviet Union is one of the initiators. Food for World Weather Watch. Space images aren't just for synoptics. Photos of the Earth from orbit by the astronaut Valery Bolovsky were commissioned by specialists in many professions. In the 75th year, the scientists of the German Republic of the Soviet Union, by fire, developed a new horizontal chamber, which seemed to him to have been created in the 76th year at the People's Enterprise Karl Zizian and was first installed on the ship. They described the union of 22, on which I and Vadim Lal had to test this camera in our work. Some 14 zero people were shot, and the surface of the world was about 20 million square kilometers. Here are the mountain areas, when it is clearly visible to glaciers, rivers, mountain fractures, and all the images were of high quality. Well, to give you a better picture of the machine, I'll show you. Here they are in kind, and the books that it is made up of a chamber that has six lengths that make it possible to remove the same surface in six ranges of the spectrum. But right now, I think you and I are gonna go through the salad station modeling station and see the camera part in kind. All members of the international crew working at the Sala Orbital Station took their territories off with a camera of brute. Out of space what? And in five minutes, you can take a picture of an area that takes at least two years off the plane. Photos in different spectrums help researchers to see what is impossible to see in conventional images. In analyzing these images, experts draw conclusions about the movement of glaciers. They find faults in the Earth Yapos S crust with which mineral deposits are linked. Identify the moisture reserves in the soil, the extent to which the water bodies are contaminated, and the condition of crops in large areas. Soviet communication satellites, the Intersputnik system has become the backbone of the international system. The Earth stations of the system have been built on the territory of the Soviet Union and in many other countries in Europe, Asia, Africa and Latin America. The long ago disappeared as if time had moved. Now millions of people, thanks to international television exchanges, can watch programs at the same time. As if they were accomplices to events in different ways. No, but... Never space. There's another rescue service. The stormy element of the ocean has not once caused trouble. The SARS 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 system is located above the planet. 
the Soviet Union, France, Canada, and the United States of America have joined their rescue and space programs. Come on, the radio storm will receive a low-orbit satellite lifeguard. In a matter of minutes, the signal will reach the nearest ground station and the assistance will be provided in time. The satellite entered the area of visibility of the station. We're gonna start another communication session. The instruments automatically set the coordinates of the crash site. A Soviet satellite of the spacecraft system had barely come into orbit to save the world, to find out about the first pilots, and Mariner rescued from it. In one year, two Soviet and one American satellite helped some 200 people out of distress. Among them are citizens of Stitchin, Canada, Francia, Great Britain, Spain, and Austria. The program of Soros Postus clearly reflects the humane ideas of international cooperation in outer space. The memory returns us in the 1975th year, when spaceships from the Soviet Union and the United States of America began to meet in orbit from two different continents. The Union of Holland meeting came into history as a compelling example of the fact that, with goodwill, weirdness of different social systems can live in peace. They can cooperate for the benefit of all mankind. Since the meeting, many international crews have visited outer space in orbit between Soviet and American astronauts. The Soviet ships and orbital stations had cosmonauts, researchers. Vladimir Ramak from Czechoslovakia and the remains of Hermish of the chief of the Polish People's Republic. Sigmund Ian, for the German Democratic Republic. Citizens of the People Yapos, S. Republic of Bulgaria, Georgi Ivanov. Citizen of the Hungarian People Yapos, S. Republic, damn it, Farkash. Ambassador of the Socialist Republic of Vietnam, Pham Chuan. The Republic of Cuba represented the astronaut researcher Arnold Tamayo Mainness. The Mongolian people Yapos, S. Republic, Bug to Mediat Chi Town. Socialist Republic of Romania, Tumifruat Al, hit him. Gene training for future astronauts was also a member of the international crew at the Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center. What qualities should a person who has chosen to become a cosmonaut today have? First of all, strong will and good health. It must withstand enormous overloads when the ship enters orbit. Maintain high efficiency in unusual conditions of weightlessness and hypodynamia. Training in near space environments helps to develop the professional qualities of the cosmonaut by being quick to think and psychologically prepared to act in unexpected circumstances. At the Salat Orbital Station, members of the international crew conducted a large number of experiments on the missions of their National Academies of Science. 
It turned out that alloys of metals that could not be created on Earth could be produced in conditions of weightlessness. A cosmonaut must have many professions. He's both a locksmith and a metallurgist. Photographer, film operator, physicist and biologist. Cosmonauts conducted experiments with plants and insects and conducted various medical observations. Of course, space is first and foremost a job. The rosy orbit and its cosmic existence are, so to speak, the comfort of weightlessness. The sense of partnership is what's called psychological compatibility. One of the prerequisites for the success of each crew. Okay. This is the end of the space odyssey. Earth again. The smell of flowers and the Earth's attraction. Home. Each of them was the first to pave the way for their country. As national heroes were met by cosmonauts Berlin and Hanni, Sofia, Warsaw, Budapest, and Ulaanbaatar, Prague, it is time to take stock. Hand it over to scientists. For professionals, the results of observations and experiments carried out in space are valuable. Ah. Space can do a lot for people if they work together. Space must remain the arena of peaceful cooperation for different countries and peoples. Prepare to fly another space crew. The leader of cosmonaut training, Lieutenant General Vladimir Wu, has already been trained by almost all of our brothers, socialists. At the Cosmonaut Training Center. Strange, with the Soviet cosmonauts on board the Sala Orbital Station, the France astronauts were working, and preparations for the flight of crews with the astronauts of India are now being finalized. Of course, every training for every crew in any country. This has its own characteristics, as does every human being. But we now have quite a wealth of experience in training people from different countries, different latitudes, different traditions and different levels. What the preparations for the initial are now very pleased with the training of the cosmonauts of India. They're going to be participating in a very interesting program developed by the scientists of India together with the scientists of the Soviet Union. We are convinced that this next flight will be as successful as all previous flights and will contribute greatly to the development of science in developing the exploration of the possibilities of space for the benefit of all mankind.
Lindbert. The cosmonauts are headed again and again for the integrated trainer of the transport ship Union. It's the same ship that's gonna put them in orbit. There are regular and irregular situations that can be addressed. Meet me on space flight. Ah. In the territory, there may be controlled data for his organization if you are badminton. The sun's orientation is permanent. Push, please, let me do this. Turn it off. Okay. Yuri Vasiljevic, let me ask you a question, and I'm here for the charm. Please, first, how you feel after training, and second, what a relationship you have with your Soviet colleagues. Of course, a little tired. We were working, yeah, four hours, but... In working with Yuri Marshev, she's very capable and different. We understand each other well and nothing happened. The problem wasn't very pleasant with our training. And for everyone to understand each other well, everyone must be capable. So I just said, what about the commander? I mean, I couldn't have been completely empty. Thank you. You're kind of all together, strokes genius. Yuri Molishev. Rocket with a charm. The crew. Two years of study and intense training in the back. From here, the Gagarin Training Center begins the journey to the Cosmodrome, the path to the new space peaks. It's an endless journey to know how infinite space is, how infinite the universe is. But whatever space gives us, the human mind will always remember those who started space.